it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Humpty Dumpty Brewery and it's a bottle of their Christmas Crackling described as a well hopped amber ale with a late bitter finish. This beer used to be called Christmas Crack and it had a picture of Father Christmas there with his pants down showing his bum. Uh, I'm not sure what I prefer. I'm, I'm more of a kind of a cheeky chappy they used to call me. There's the black bottle cap. And I, I don't mind that kind of thing, you know, it's a little bit of harmless fun. Um, it's Christmas time, uh, we're all adults, you've got to be 18 to drink or 16 if you, you know, if you were like me, you're 14. But, but I mean, it's a bit of harmless fun. Uh, people have obviously complained, so they've changed the name of the label, changed the name of the beer. Now it's Christmas Crackling. Uh, it's still okay, but it's not as funny as Christmas Crack. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. I've not had a beer from Humpty Dumpty Brewery for a long time. The last time I had a beer from them, I really kind of liked it. Really nice beer. It is bottle conditioned probably. I mean, the last one was all them years ago, I remember. Um, so leave a little bit in the bottle we'll show you what it looks like later on it's a one finger white head slightly hazy beer good levels of carbonation amber in color as they mentioned the beer is available from beersofeurope.co.uk the largest online beer store in the uk with a fabulous range of beer from all over the world if you like american beer german beer french beer beer from the uk beer from france um, mexico the netherlands norway sweden Check out beersofeurope.co.uk in the description box of this video. So, let's get the aroma. Unsurprisingly, it smells really good. Really tropical, really kind of hoppy. It's very jammy, very kind of tart-like in the flavour and the aroma. Strawberry and raspberry jam. It smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers. That's lovely. That is really nice. Biscuity, bready, malty. Then with a fantastic, there's a little bit of sherbet lemon in there. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. I like the breadiness, I like the maltiness, that kind of little bit of caramel sweetness at the beginning. But then on the back end, there's a fantastic level of bitterness. Uh, there's some grapefruit, there's some orange peel, there's some of that kind of jamminess I was talking about earlier. Raspberry, strawberry jam. It's a really well-made beer. A really well-made beer. I would love to try this on cask. I bet it's absolutely fantastic. This, for me, it's a mixture. I'm, I'm gonna be a little bit hesitant in my guess with the hops because you do get some grapefruit, you do get some fleshy blood orange and some, some lemon. But then again, you get, you get some of that traditional British hop bitterness, that kind of, longing, dull bitterness that just keeps driving the beer forward. I like it, I really like it. Because for me, I don't drink enough of this beer. I don't drink enough of this style of beer. This, this well hopped traditional British ale. And when I do, it reminds me why I got into beer in the first place, is to drink great beers like this. Let's see what it looks like with the sediment added to the, the bottom of the bottle. 
from the bottom of the bottle, should I say. Look at that. Now, the reason why I waited is because about five or six years ago, I reviewed a Humpty Dumpty beer and it had an, an enormous amount of yeast in the bottom of the bottle. It's gonna look completely different, guys. Look at that now. It looks completely different. If you're new to real ale and you bought a bottle of this or something similar and you've poured it out and it looks like this, lots of bits and pieces floating around in the glass, don't be alarmed. First thing I say to people is don't be alarmed. It's full of vitamin B, full of vitamins, really good for you. And for me, it adds a touch more flavour to the beer. And I've always said that, I've always said that with my beers, is that when you add the yeast, it just adds another dimension. So enjoy the beer, it's a real ale. Uh, it's part of the second fermentation process. So the brewer would add a little bit of yeast sediment in each bottle and then it will mop up the rest of them sugars in that bottle and it just kind of it gives the beer some carbonation and it smooths the beer out a little bit let me show you let me drink some absolutely fine in fact i'm picking up a little bit more orange peel now with a little bit of yeast added because with the sediment hitting the bottom, you're going to get an element of flavour hitting the bottom as well. Next thing I want to talk about very quickly is the balance of the beer. I think it's why the British style, the best bitter style, or the... You can call it a best bitter, you can call it a traditional real ale. It's why it's been around so long. It's because... They just taste so good. They just, for me, it's, I drink a lot of beer from around the world. I don't, as I mentioned earlier on, I don't drink enough of this style of beer. This traditional British style real ale. With your fuggles and your goldings and it still puts a smile on my face. And, and a lot of that is balance. The balance of the beer is terrific. You get a lot of biscuity, bready malts coming through. Followed that up, that's a little bit of sweetness, by the way. And then on the back end, you have bitterness, and that's bringing through your lemons and your grapefruits and your, your kind of, your hedgerow fruit flavors, your jammy flavors, if you like. The head's kept itself nice and kind of tight all the way down the glass. I've been drinking the beer, 4.5% ABV. That's a really good Christmas beer. Christmas Crackling by Humpty Dumpty Brewery. You know what it's like, guys. Over the years, I've had some real Christmas beer duds. It's almost like, right, it's Christmas, let's make some crap beer. I've had some right duds from the supermarket, Christmas beers. But you can find, this is what I'm trying to say, guys, is you can find some quality out there. If you if you check online and, and check some beer stores online, especially beers as viewed at UK. Let's rate it. I like that. It's brought me back home. It's brought my feet on the ground. Traditional British real ale, or call it a best bitter if you like. 4.5% ABV. Give me six pints of that on a Sunday afternoon. I'll be absolutely fine. I'm going to rate that. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Old Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.